got a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal hey. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what?! Hey! Here's an old man who might hit back! Throwing me softballs, you rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. 
Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau. Parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Here we go. Nope. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. That's it? That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. We need cooperation and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling up, parked down the block. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. You got another one of those, Harvey? 
Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes, or it's Trevor, or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's... it is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this, or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, uh, but... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so... Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean... Not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way. I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. 
Me and all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what, what are you doing? Uh, uh, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, I, I... All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another kind of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I think they're in here. Whatever, dude. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Angslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> Just not my junk, okay? Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Papa Bear! 
What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Just relax, okay? Don't move. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. There we go. Oh, Nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror, smash you over the head with it. Too much better. Oh. Ah. Ah. Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. But... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to... No! Jeez! Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. 
and don't get killed. Can you do that? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Hey, hey. Building standards. Where's your hard hat? Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for I this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Who are you? I'm supposed to oh, sign. Oh. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we can plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. 
Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. They did good Evangelico, remember? I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The After what went down at the jewelry store, I could definitely take a chance on them again. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. It seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight-talking new, uh, tell-it-like-it-is-reality guy act. Uh-huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet Age. <laughs> the Internet Age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I, I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. When the grid... Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, are we ready? Waiting on you. This place is with the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fed pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building, calling in updates. I'll be on standby, boss. Suck. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough 
Then we move in the chopper. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. Come on, Frank. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. I'm in the building. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the massive numbers in the middle. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long.
Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. this I don't wanna wait on that chuck. Bring it down to the building. Be ready to go. Airlift confirmed. Approaching the tower. The room on the left. They're coming. Give us a second. Here's our lift. The network ain't down yet. Oh, oh here. Wait. Up. You think there's enough of them? Hold tight! Hold tight! Motherfuckers! Check the doors! Get out of here! They're coming at us! It might be tougher. He's on to us. Clear for takedown! They're coming! They got me! Trying to bring it under. Just back up a goddamn. I'm in. The pilot signal is totally dead. Fuck! He out! Don't worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. Ah! Be cool! Guys, you there? Yeah, go ahead. The Helen crash caused extensive damage. Explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire. Are under control, but be extremely careful. Alright, got it. Hey, just coming from the left! Down! Now! Move on the left, hey! Download complete. Get the device. About time! Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through. On your knee. Guns are live. On me. Come on. I got this door! Dude, body, let's move! Opening, can we go? Come on! Hey, we got a problem up here! Sprinkler system! Can't see anything! Man, can a hacker shut it off? Atta girl, whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Man, let's move! Check this out, man! Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a... No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Now let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! Oh! oh I thought you'd be Aaron's! All right, you terror! Moving! Moving! Uh. Get clapped!
Let's go! Come on. Better step to me. Let's get out of here. Hey, let's move. Asshole. Back. Down, assholes. Following you. Always moving. Stay with me. Moving, moving. You're in our way. Get out of the way. This way! Hey, down these stairs! Push, people! Run or get clapped! Come on, come on! This might be a way out! We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit CD on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! We got what we came for! Shit! Damn, we going! He's gone, dog. Fix the rope there! Then we can get down to the street! Hey, set up the rope there! And we'll drop to the street! That's it! Gotta go! No shit! Let's get cracking, man! Unless you're feeling at home in this bed, building. Hey! You wanna say with Trevor? Feel free! Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg! Let's do this shit! The driver's meeting us out front, right? You gonna step to me? You guys make an honest killer like me sick! We're coming through! Let's do this! Get out of the way! Corrupt ass bitch! You gotta go, man! Move it back! And get out of here! Public sector assholes! Back down, assholes! Go cash your pension! Ah, crap! Where's our driver? Right here, let's do this! Oh, it's the ambulance! Move! Move it before we're seen! Come on! We're meant to be a paramedic crew. That means no shooting. If you're a dick, you lose your dick, okay? All right, all right, we're clear. Frank, I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem. Hey, Taliana, right? Great move, bringing an ambulance. It's a common trick. The crew don't get jumpy, it usually works. Common or not, it takes balls, and you got it. 
Well, now we're clear, I could probably say I never expected to make it out of there. I was semi sort of serious, but joking once you reacted like that, all right? Taliana, we're coming up on the place. Can you do me a favor? Get rid of the vehicle and drop him off somewhere. I got it! Prince, DNA, whole thing will be clean. Any longer, I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right in here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dawg. Take care. Man, it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, no, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! <laughs>